Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, the topic of this lecture is uh, properties of operations on set. Now this time we are going to learn, in this lecture particularly we are going to learn that what are the operations, uh, what are the properties of operations on set. So let's get started. The first property that we are going to learn is the closure property. Now what is closure property? Actually it says operation of union, intersection and difference of any two set closed in power set of universal set is called closure property now out here u means the universal set now what it is trying to say what exactly a closure property is is let's just consider an example and understand it better okay so further it's saying something that a union b a intersection b a minus b are also set in power set of universal set hmm so let's just take a set uh, we have a universal set out here which has elements 1 2 3 we have a set a which has elements 1 2 and we have set b which has elements element 3 now as we all know that uh, these sets the further sets, set a and b are the subset of universal set so uh, as you can see out here they are subset of the universal set now it says that these all sets uh, two uh, sets closed in power set of universal set now first of all we need to make the power set of universal set so these okay so this is the power set of universal set that means the formula that we watched earlier that we saw earlier we learned it that how to make uh, power set now the answer uh, to this power set of universal set is phi set of 1 set of 2 set of 3 set of 1 2 1 3 2 3 and 1 2 3 okay now further it says that all the operations that is a union b a intersection b a minus b are also in power set actually what closure property says is that if we have a universal set and uh, we we just uh, uh, make power set of that universal set then all the other operations that we uh, use in set that is the union intersection difference the answer what we will get from those operations will be present in the power set of the universal set now let's say as we know that the set we have uh, set a we have element 1 2 set b ha we have uh, a set with element only 3 uh, so let's just find out a union b now a union b is equals to 1 2 3 a intersection b is a disjoint set that means it's a null set a minus b is 1 comma 2 and b minus a is 3 now if we go back we can see that all the answer whether it be 1 2 3 whether it be uh, the difference 1 uh, 1 2 3 and null set they all are present in the power set of universal set so basically the closure property says that if we take power set of a universal set then all the operations that we apply on the subset of those universal set will be present in the power set of universal set and we saw that that uh, how um, these subset set a and b the operations that we applied on these two sets the answer that we got in result are present in the power set of universal set so this is the basically property that is the closure property that uh, how it works that all the operations that we apply on the subsets of universal set and if we make power set of that universal set all the answers all the operations that we apply on the subset the answer itself is present in the power set of universal set and we saw this with the help of a with the help of the example here that a union b is 1 2 3 a intersection b is 5 a minus b is 1 2 b minus a is 3 so these all answers are present in the power set of universal set moving on the second property is the commutative property now the commutative law we all heard of commutative laws uh, that is 
for set we define them as a intersection b is equals to b intersection a a intersection b is equals to b intersection a union b is equals to b union a this is basically my commutative property okay now let's take an example and let's just prove it So out here we have taken the first law for intersection and we are proving with the help of an example let we have example out here as set A is defined as 1 2 set B has element 3. Now if I take intersection of A intersection B that will be a disjoint set because there is no set in common. There is no element in common uh, in, in both these sets. Whereas B intersection A, the answer is same that there is nothing in common in these two sets. Moving on to the second law that was A union B is equals to B union A. Now if I find out A U B, the answer will be 1, 2, 3. So as for B union A, the answer is 1, 2, 3. So hence we say that commutative law is proved. Uh, that left hand side equals to right hand side we have proved both the laws out here that how it is how it works on sets moving on to the next law we have is the associative law now what associative law is the pro associative law is equals to a union b union c is equals to a union b union c and the second for intersection we have a intersection b intersection c is equals to a intersection b intersection c now when we are proving associative law we will um, consider solving bracket first okay so first we are going to solve the bracket and then the whole thing so let's just do it with the help of an example let we have example out here here sorry Okay, we have example A is equals to A, B, C. B has element C, D, F and D has element, C has element E, F, G. Now firstly we are going to prove uh, the first part of uh, the left hand side of uh, uh, associative law that is A union B union C. Now first of all we are going to solve the bracket first. Okay. So for bracket that means we are going to solve A union B first. So the answer for A union B is equals to A, B, C, D and F. Now same when we got the answer for A union B that is we got answer for this part. Now we are going to solve for this. Now the answer for A union B union c now what we will get oh we get a b c d e f and g so the result we got is this let's just prove the second part of it that is a union b union c now again we are going to solve the bracket first b union c is c d e f and g and if we combine it with a union b union c we got the result a b c d e f g which is same as this result so we say that left hand side is equals to right hand side Moving on, uh, I have righted those sets again so that we don't have any difficulties going back and okay. So we are first going to prove the first uh, left hand side for intersection associative law for intersection that is A intersection B intersection C. Now A intersection B is intersection means to find out the common elements between two sets it will be the answer will be the common element a set that is common in both the sets so out here we can see that only c is common so a intersection b is equals to c now a intersection b intersection c now if i intersect it with set c 
so it has nothing in common so the result is a null set now let's see if the second side proves or not so the second side says that a intersection b intersection c again the rule is same we're first going to solve the bracket so b intersection c is um, a set that has only element f because only f is common so we the result we got is set a set that has element f and if we intersect it with a set a the result is a null set now as you can see both the result for a intersection b intersection c and a intersection b intersection c are same so you can see the result for this and result this they both are same so associative law is proved Moving on to the distributive law. Now what distributive law says? It says that A intersection B union C is equals to A intersection B union A intersection C. And second law stands as A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C. Now we will be proving it with the help of an example. Let's say we have set A with elements 1, 3, 5. We have set B with elements 2, 3, 4. And we have set C with element 4, 5 and 6. We are first going to prove A intersection B union C. Now A intersection B union C. We are first going to solve the bracket first. B union C is equals to 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. You just unite all the elements present in B and C. So if I intersect it with set A, the result I got is 3 and 5 because only 3 and 5 is common in set A and in B union C. Let's just prove the other side, the right hand side of uh, distributive law that is this A intersection B union A intersection C. The rule is same, we first going to solve the brackets. So for A intersection B, the result is um, a set with element 3. For A intersection C, we have a set that has element 5. If I find, if I unite the result for those two sets, the result is 3, 5, which is same as the other side. So, moving on, we are now solving the second law, which is A union B intersection C is equals to A union B intersection A union C. Now, B intersection C is equals to set 4, and A union B intersection C is equals to 1, 3, 4 and 5. Now the second part we solved A union B that is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A union C is equals to 1, 3, 4, 5. And the intersection that we got between two set is 1, 3, 4, 5. Now as you can see out here, this result, as you can see, as you can see out here this result as you can see out here as you can see out here this result and this result are both same so we can now say that distributive law is proved we are moving on to our next and final law that is identity law now what is identity law identity identity law says that a union phi is equals to set a and uh, A intersection universal set is equal to set A. Let's just consider an example. We have a universal set that has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have a set A that has elements 2, 4 and 6. If I find out A union null set, that means element of set A that is 2, 4, 6 uniting it with null set so if i just unite it there is no change in it the result is same so it is proved and if i move on to the next law which says a intersection union which is equals to set of a then uh, 
I see a set A that is 2, 4, 6. Then intersecting it with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got our answer 2, 4, 6 which is the same. So um, these are all the laws that we were talking about starting from the closure property, commutative, associative and distributive. These are the properties of operations on sets. Hope you guys have understood and have a better understanding of all the, have now better understanding of all the uh, properties of operations on sets.